Okay, I'm reloaded. Big Dow Pacino here. This is going to be odds and ends number 102, believe it or not. We're going to take a closer look at some um, mainline and premium diecast that we're featured in my video, Show and Tell 197. And to set that off, we got on the turntable uh, the Hot Wheels uh, tuned twin mill that debuted in Tune 2021, designed by Rio Asada. This is the Tune 2023 color variation. And red and blue stripes, red and blue stripes on yellow. Has two on the hood, HW, GR, FX, Hot Wheels graphics, I bet I, that's what it stands for. On the front fenders, it has a black and plastic base. So a chrome base. No black, black and plastic, yeah. It has the five GP wheels. Five SP wheels. And this is probably Rio Sada's last, one of his last designs. So. I usually don't collect stuff like this. But I'm kind of getting into the Toon series, so. Plus, you castings like iconic casting. The original casting is, of course, by uh, Larry Wood, which we have a version of Twin Mill right there. That that Braille one with the Braille bumps on it. Next, we got this, uh, which I've seen the latest color variation but I didn't pick it up oops I didn't do the Pontiac Aztec so I guess we won't be revealing the Pontiac Aztec but that casting is out and I picked one up but I didn't do the research because I guess it wasn't supposed to be up there, but I didn't exclude it. So next, we're going to go into our uh, matchbox. So I guess we can own it back. Let's get into the uh, the Volkswagen. We got the Volkswagen Golf Mark One. That uh, debuted in uh, Mainline plus MBX City 2020. It's based on the 1976 uh, model in real life that came out this is designed by a lugo this is the 158 scale and you know it's a small casting so it looks closer to 1664 and this is the mbx metro color variation 2024 in blue detailed trim it has twin black thin black stripes and it has supposed to have a rabbit insignia on the side, but it's real small. It has a black plastic base. I don't see a rabbit insignia. I just see GTI and, and the grill for the Volkswagen symbol. Has clear windows, so, you know, yeah. and tan interior. So it's pretty cool. 
Next, we have the uh, the 2015 Mazda MX-5 Miata NBX Matchbox. Debuted in Mainline plus NBX Adventure City 2016. It was retooled in 2019. So that the rear section behind the seats was smoothed out. This is the Target Series 2024 color variation and red which I didn't know that Matchbox I forgot probably forgot Matchbox just like Hot Wheels has red editions they have a special I guess it's through Matchbox through Mattel the parent company they also have exclusives with uh, Target and this one has the white tampons on the side monster logo on the hood black plastic base Clear windows. And it has smoke. No, not clear. There's smoke tent. And a uh, black interior. It's pretty cool casting. Next, we're going to get into some premiums. So we can. Just get rid of all that. These Hot Wheels premiums. First, we're going to go with the, uh, I think it's the Lamborghini. Lamborghini, it's a, actually LB Works Lamborghini Huracan. From this series, this is what you could get. I haven't seen a Corolla or that uh, Nissan 240SX anywhere. And I've mainly been at Hobby Lobby and Target. I haven't had a chance to get to Walmart. My Walmart's kind of out of the way. Probably should have went there, but oh well. This debuted in HW Speed Graphics 2021, designed by Rio Sada. This is the Car Culture Slot Street 2 2024, color variation in glossy gray, detailed headlights and taillights, dark gray camouflage pattern, uh, sponsors on the sides. Toyo, Toyo Tires logo on wing. Now you can see that. It's, it has Mad Mike Motorsports on the windshield. It has a black metal base. Black interior. Clear wheel windows, sorry. It has RRA and RRR, R, excuse me, the double RA wheels on the front. They're in black. And, and the RR8 DOT wheels are on the back. And they're both in black. So the other ones are kind of like aero disc up front. And the other ones are deep dish, which gives it a unique look. The real car can accelerate from 0 to 100 in 3.4 seconds with a top speed of 198 miles per hour. You might as well say 200. This particular casting utilizes a design inspired by Liberty Walk body kit and graphics that were designed by New Zealander drift racer Mad Mike with it himself so i guess he owns liberty works i was surprised to find this bad boy on the page and 
But what I think it was, somebody took most of two sets or maybe even most of two sets and there was a third one and they left some behind. But they took multiples of the Corolla and the uh, Nissan Silver, as always. Next, what we got from the same series is the uh, 2023 Nissan Z that debuted in a uh, factory fresh 2022 designed by Lindsay Lee. This is the car culture slide street Two, 2024 version in black diamond metallic detail headlights, tail lights, Fosberg racing livery, black metal base. And we have uh, BRR 5 SPM wheels on this black interior clear windows. I was surprised to see this one on the heads too, but when I went back to Target this week, I didn't see any versions of any of uh, I just seen this Mustang that, that's in the series that has become a uh, peg warmer for some reason. I guess because it's kind of plain Jane. I should have picked it up, but oh well. And to contrast that, I have a, a Auto World uh, Nissan Z from 2023. Just for the scale, sorry about my hand. Just to contrast this scale, but um, the Hot Wheels is slightly bigger. I think also because it has a wide body kit, it's a little wider, but the proportions are relatively close. Hot Wheels is always a little bigger. Of course, Auto World is usually true to 164. So it's cool to have the contrast to have the factory and I just found out this one the hood opens on this auto world so that's cool yeah. Next, what we have is we going with we're going with the Johnny Lightning. We got the Johnny Lightning sixty nine Charger RT and what color is this? Light blue poly, and it is from. Unfortunately, two years ago, but I don't have it in my collection. Old stock. It was sitting up there on the pegs on uh, at Target. So, and that's what you could get. I'm not gonna repeat it because it's old stock, and it's pretty cool though. Sixty-nine Chargers, I think, because of the association with the General Lee. I don't know, for some reason, Dakar's companies haven't really been doing them too much. The 70 Charger, of course, Fast and the Furious, became a thing. It was also in Blade, too. But, um... And then you start seeing a lot of the earlier Charger. You would see the 68, too. But now you're starting to see more of the 67 or 66 body style. This is the only 69 Charger I have in my collection. Besides the, a, uh, I think it's a Maisto main line. Definitely the only one I have in premium. I had. 
Notice how. And the orange one is the uh, Johnny White thing. And the blue one is. Oh, the orange one is a green light. And it's much wider than the Johnny White thing for some reason. So I think the. In this case, the green light version is probably closer to it. And I think the green light is either from 2021 or 2022 either it's the barrett jackson series or greenlight hollywood and the only thing about this one is the wheels i don't like the wheels they put modern wheels on it so i wonder what's this from roadkill garage i'm not sure So it's cool to have this light blue one now because it has a more stock look to it. I'm shocked they haven't done the one from Drive Angry, that Nicolas Cage movie. But I think that was a six. I don't think that was a sixty-nine. I think that was the sixty-eight. And bringing up the rear, what we have right here. This is a, a Jada Toys pink slips, which I've been getting these lately. And this is a Mercedes Benz. Is it going to focus? Mercedes Benz AMG SL63. And the hood opens on this bad boy. It's got some big proportions to it. And apparently that top comes off too. Which I ain't took it off. So it's closer. Okay, it's a convertible. Yeah, SLs are convertibles. And it. I got an S class Vans right here from Matchbox. And this came out in, uh, it said it is a 2019 Mercedes Benz AMG GT 63S. So this is an AMG too. So anytime they put the 63. The dual letters, even though they that's the way it used to be, that's the way it is now for Mercedes Benz. It used to be only the AMG models used the uh two numerals, and the Mercedes Benz used three numerals, but it's not like that no more because I guess AMG is owned by Mercedes Benz now directly, they've been dealing with each other for a long time. And the Matchbox debuted in Mainline MBX Highway 2020, designed by Abe Lugo, pearl white, first color variation, detail front and rear, gray plastic base, smoke tip windows, gray interior, both on S classes. The proportions on this are so big though. It's still a great addition to the collection. Um, so that's it. That is Oz awesome and Ends 102. So, got some stuff I'm prepping right now as far as content. I definitely have one peg hunting video from my recent uh, Hobby Lobby visit, peg hunting experience in the can. So that will be debuting on Wednesday, this following Wednesday. So this will probably be up on Saturday. Yeah, so I usually try to do two videos a week. Sometimes I get caught up you know how it is in life, you know, with work and going back and forth and probably not peg hunting like I should. And then I'm doing different content and 
I have another showcase video that I'm prepping to. So I'll probably do the uh the short before that. I always do a short in order to preview and give you prepped and ready. I I guess excited for the showcase content when I do showcase content, but oh well. I wanna thank the subscribers for holding me down, giving me some great views. Still trying to get to this goal of 500 views. I mean, 500 subscribers by the end of this year. So it's October now. I got two months to get that done. That's the goal I set for myself. Uh, Rain reviewers, if you happen upon this channel, like I always say, this is not the best diecast channel. So not the worst either. The model here is to show show love to the diecast. Um, I encourage you to subscribe, hit the notification button, uh, leave a like or dislike behind. Until the next time, this is Big Dapuccino signing.